little bit about this is a big one. <clears throat> there are a lot of people, a lot of people that don't have agents that are new that really want to do this. Um, can you talk about what, how they can get started, uh, how they get their stuff to an agent if they don't have a referral? Uh, what jobs are out there? I know there's a lot of union and non-union and there's a lot of stuff that they can go to now. Yeah. But can you give some advice on what you think the new actor, every actor should network, but mm -hmm. can you be specific about that in terms of yeah. where they can go and what they can do and that, 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 yeah. that. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I mean, if you're, if, if you, if you have, if you don't have representation yet, of course, that's, that's the big hurdle that you need to, to get over and get, you know, and get repped and, you know, the agents get, you know, uh, emails, with demos every day, you know, and, and they, they actually, but the, the good side of that is that they actually do listen, you know, they're, they're always interested in, in, in growing their roster uh, with, with a, a, with a talent that they don't have yet. Right. Right. And, and so, you know, if, if you've got the demo reel, you know, email it to, to every, <laughs> every agency in town, you know what I mean? And, you know, and, and know what to put in the subject line too, you know, put in the subject line, you know, as have I've trained with such and such coach, or I've taken this, these classes, or I've booked this national job, you know, catch the attention that shows that you've put in the work and the commitment already, and you're, you're ready for the next step. And that's just that's just reaching out to agents with with that demo reel, know how to do that correctly to get yeah. their attention and not annoy agents. You know what I mean? And again, having a well produced reel, of course, helps too. But you know, if you don't have representation, there's still a ton of work out there that you can get without an agent. There's there's websites like um, platforms like Voice One Two Three. Have you okay. heard of it? Um, yes, Voice One Two Three. That's, I believe that's voice123.com. That's, right. that's with professionals and, and amateurs alike. And lots of people book there. Yeah. I, I, have, a, really? I have a good friend um, who, who uh, had no, you know, a little bit of experience acting, but no experience in voiceover at all. She came upon this website, Voice123, and I'm not, I'm not here to promote it at all, but it is a great resource. <laughs> Um, and she's, you know, and she created a demo for herself and she, you know, you post it on the website and you have a profile and there's just a ton of union and non-union jobs to yes. audition for. And she started to book, you know, a, a job a month. And then that was her first, you know, wow. half a year and then a couple of jobs a month. And now she's making a living. Uh, well, now she actually has an agent, but that my point is that that webs that voice one two three or or websites and platforms like that that um, post jobs and you can get jobs through there. They're a great stepping stone to getting representation if you don't and getting bigger jobs if you haven't yet. Um, it's uh, yeah the the jobs on those websites run the gamut from professional you know I mean from national commercials to animation to. Wow just, you know, a small job that pays 50 to hundred bucks, but you get a lot of experience okay. in there. Experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that that's imperative to do. I was, I think, who did I tell Kat or one of my clients, you know, they were, when we were doing our sound alike class, um, oh, yeah. we were talking about um, where you can get work. And I, I know this is going to sound nuts guys, but I, 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 I saw it my, with my own two eyes. Um, Craigslist. Oh yeah. Go to Craigslist. I'm not kidding you. They have, I, I, I was doing a huge sound alike job and they didn't want to pay. It's disgusting. The actual sound alikes that I had that were SAG, whatever, um, because there, it was a SAG job. It was for like Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, can't pay that. We can't pay that. And I couldn't, this was a SAG job. No way. You know, you, you've got to follow the rules when it's the rules. Sure. So what did they do? They went to Craigslist and they found the actors and they were great. Sure. And they probably got them 
for next to nothing, but look at the experience that those people had. And, and I, I was like, I went, well, they're never going to find these. I mean, we cast these, you know, constantly and it's auditions and, and you know what sound matches are like. They have to be exactly alike, like Danny's, a, you know, Liv Schreiber, that's where you go. Um, <laughs> there's, there, no, seriously, you, you, it's a lot of work for casting people to do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they did, they found a load of people on Craigslist. And by the way, they do a lot of other things too regarding voiceover. So that's, that's my little wink, wink, nod, nod to you guys because um, go to places that you don't think, right? They yeah. would be casting yeah. and just, it's there's so much more opportunity now than there ever was when I started out. Yeah, For especially, like yeah. Time. Especially, right. yeah, if you don't have representation yet and you haven't booked a lot of professional jobs yet, it's kind of like um, starting out as an on-camera actor. You know, a lot of a lot of folks do uh, uh, student films, right? Co uh, student films at, from colleges and stuff. It's a great it's great experience. The pay isn't that great, but you're going to find a lot of like really interesting, fun jobs from yeah, like from Craigslist, that other website. Um, you know, that they may not pay a whole lot, but they're, they're going to add to your repertoire. They're going to, you know, it just builds experience, those kinds of jobs. Don't be afraid to take a silly job like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Take whatever you can, guys. Yeah. I'm serious. It's such a great experience to do it all. You're going to have to deal with all kinds of personalities. Not, they're not all wonderful like us and humble. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's good to get out there and really get that, you know, that, background in that backbone is what I mean so sure, that you sure. can go gulp or whatever do yeah. go through whatever you need to go through this is called the bus and truck tour that's how we would say this in New York of uh, VO you yeah. get on there you know it's 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 guerrilla time and you just you go for it yeah and the beauty of the guild now not so much is that you can be you can do union and non-union okay Everybody, the union's a must. We're always going to push the union because that's the way it is. We have a union for that. But there's also a lot of other non-union work out there, especially if you're not in the union yet, mm -hmm. to be able to get your feet work wet and, um, and work and get some great work, by the way. Mm -hmm.